Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you the um, dashboard, uh, the, the control panel here on the Chrysler Pacifica e-hybrid. There's a lot of really awesome information that you get on here. And uh, this is not the default view, but you can customize it. So firstly, on the far left is the power consumption. If the car's off, it'll be down. Um, if it's using power, it'll be um, up higher on this side. Uh, it doesn't tell you if it's gas or electric and if it's charging like when you're braking it'll go down this way on the far right side is the gas meter this shows how much gas is in the car and then here is the customizable the instrument cluster you can kind of scroll through information using this button so starting at the top the first option is basically just shows the speedometer and it's big you could see how far you're going you could change it from miles to kilometers you can go down to the vehicle info and scroll across to see, you know, tire pressure, coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil life, uh, the battery voltage. Going down to the next section here is driver assist. If that's on, it'll show you adaptive cruise control and lane control. Um, going down further is um, hybrid info. This is my favorite one. And again, multiple options from left to right. But this one shows basically how how much how efficient you're driving. It basically gives you a rating of you know your average. You could see on the first, we're at 30.3 miles per gallon on average across all of our driving. Um, and this is a different view, the one that I like. I'll show you what that looks like in while you're using it. So in terms of the energy economy, this is the view I like to see. Um, this shows you the average in the corner and then shows you how you're doing um, relative to the average, or shows you how you're doing overall in terms of miles per gallon. You could set it to uh, liters per 100 kilometers. Um, and that's one view. The other view is where it shows you the average in the middle and the, bar and the current on the side. But either way, it's the bars that I really like to look at. And so this is the view I really like, and um, right now doing it in miles per gallon. Um, and then you've got your range. You could set it to the efficiency coach, which kind of coaches you to be more efficient. I haven't loved this view, but um, looks kind of cool. You could do a separate video if people want. And, um, and then there's how much charge uh, or power you're using, which is also what I'm showing right now in the left panel in a different kind of view. And it shows you when it's gas versus electrical, which this view doesn't. And it would be nice if it did, the analog the analog view. I'd love to see that on here. Maybe it does show it in some way with the coloring. I'm not really sure, but right now I don't see that. And then um, back to the beginning. So going to the next setting here, we also have uh, the trip setting. There's two trips. This is our entire drive. We've driven 538 kilometers and we've use just over an eighth of a gas tank 28 kilometers of that was gas so the trip a and b we'll reset that when we refill the gas tank to see there's audio which can show you the device and what you're playing i don't like to show that messages same thing um, and then there's the custom screen setup go back to the speedometer so this is what i'll show next so in terms of customizing the instrument cluster what you're going to do is go all the way down on the settings to number eight, setup screen. Then you're going to press OK. And now you're going to have each individual um, section. So upper left, if we click OK, we can choose. Do we want the outside temperature or the compass or the time, uh, average miles per gallon, current miles per gallon, trip A, cool, trip B battery percentage, total range, electric range, hybrid range, or nothing. I'm going to have the compass there. Of course, when you're when you're in um, assistive control, it doesn't, um, it actually shows that there. I'm going to go back. We could control what's in the right on the, so let's go down. So on the upper right, that's up there. Similarly, battery percentage, range, trip, all those options. Um, I might actually change that. I like to be able to see the temperature and I haven't been seeing that. Um, there's setting everything to default. There's the odometer. So on the odometer, you can have it to show 
or hide I I like to have it um, showing that's in the bottom corner there so you can see all of the um, the total range that you've driven there's the left side so that's over here and um, you can choose the charge slash power I like to show that because although it's somewhat shown here in the analog when you're using gas and hybrid uh, gas and electric at the same time you can't really see how much you're using of each on the analog so I like to see it here it shows one um, thing for each we'll show what that looks like um, you could also have the energy economy instead I like to show that in the middle you have the efficiency coach on the side there or the the charge power is what I'm going to keep with there's the right side so similarly you can control other things here um, this is more about the range the electric range only the range and percentage maybe I'll show that since the gas is here in the analog regardless maybe I'll show this here and then put up there I'll put the temperature or the time um, because uh, yeah I like to see that versus um, all range values kind of cool but I mean I don't know I don't really use that too often I'm going to try changing this to this for now and seeing how I like this setup um, upper left and so for upper right now I'm going to change it from battery to uh, outside temperature or do I want time no I want outside temperature let's go with that so this is my new setting and um, I'm going to go back to have my hybrid info and this is how I'm going to be looking at my panel I like this this is great cool that's how you customize it let me know if you have any questions about this or any part of the dashboard or any part of the car we'd be happy to answer as best as we can thanks for joining us in tech it easy